All around the world, wherever you look, if you see conflict, people diligently slitting each other's throats, whether it's in the Middle East, whether it's in Africa, it's because of diversity. Diversity of ethnicity, of language, of religion, but primarily of race. So, so you want to live in a, in a white-only country? Not necessarily white-only, but a country that is clearly based on a European model in which whites will basically remain the overwhelming majority in perpetuity. Okay, how do you achieve that? Well, that's an excellent question. Donald Trump has got some first good steps in mind. He wants to make sure no more illegal immigrants come into the country, and he wants to make sure that all illegal immigrants here go back. He wants to end birthright citizenship. He wants to put at least a temporary ban on Muslim immigration. What happens with, with Asians? What happens with uh, African Americans? What happens with Latinos? What happens to my You presented people? me with a very limited view of the United States. You're saying the United States is a place anybody can come and turn it into anything you want, and the people who built this country and established its institutions, if they glimmer away, so what? You are promoting a process that will reduce my people to a minority. You want more powerful Latinos. That comes at the expense of my people's power. You are 17% of the population, right. and we only have three senators. So therefore, we don't have the political representation that we deserve. And you want more and more and more? Of course, because we only have three senators. How much political? At this point, 14 senators. <coughs> and 50 years from now, how many? <coughs> Let's talk about 50 years from now. In 2044, Yes. White, non-Hispanics, will become a minority. Yes. Is that what you are afraid of? Mr. Ramos, it's fantastic for you, for my people to lose power and become a minority. That's fantastic for you. How does it feel for you? Because me? it is our country. Our country. Our country. It, is, it is our country. <laughs> Don't you think we both have the same rights in this country? I think that despite this nonsense in the declaration about anybody being anyway, white, white people, white people, we are all created equal. No. What you want to do is change this country into an entire nation in which white people will become refugees in their own land so if, you know, what, if your vision comes through. You don't want to live alongside Mexicans. Now, why is it wrong for me not to want my neighborhood to change? You'll if be, my neighborhood is European, my neighborhood, they don't have, they don't, they don't uh, keep chickens in the backyard that crow at three in the morning. What are you they talking don't, about? Uh, that, that's, a about that's a complete stereotype. That's a complete stereotype. Yes, and stereotypes are all true. That's a racist stereotype, what you're saying. Oh, oh racist. <laughs> Give me a break. What are you going to do with the thousands of Muslims? We certainly American don't. citizens who are serving in the military. I'm okay. sure that we just couldn't possibly survive with all those Muslim Navy Rangers. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sure that's true. That is not right. No. I'm talking they cannot about make Muslim. fun of people who are saving our lives. They want special holidays and special food. So if you don't like their religion, so. you don't have to join them. That's fine. Well, no, but, they are. But, wait, wait, but, also, but you can't discriminate against them. Simply of course. Because you... Of course. Anyone should have the right to discriminate against anyone he wishes. And the point is... But not, 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 not by the law, Mr. Taylor. You can't do that. I think the law is absolutely incorrect. Do you feel that whites are superior and more intelligent that. than blacks? I think, on average, whites are more intelligent than blacks, and North Asians are more intelligent than whites. How can you say that? Is, how can you think otherwise? Uh, Mr. Taylor, what, what evidence you... would you have to think that uh, a pygmy is, on average, is just as intelligent as a Dane? Why would you think that? The entire record of history is completely consistent with the assumption that black Africans are less intelligent on average than Asians or Caucasians. That's, that's absurd. That's no, repugnant no, no. and absurd. Wait, repugnant to you? Yes, of course. Why, why would you even entertain the possibility that on average a pygmy is as intelligent as a Japanese? The comparison that you are, are trying to make, yeah. it is simply impossible because of historical circumstances, because economic conditions, because of the <sighs> moment. We have to be willing to say to all those who are non-European, we wish you well, but this territory is for us. And sorry, we have the right to be us, and only we can be us. So you want me to leave? Under certain circumstances, yes, we would ask you to go. Unless whites are prepared to exclude people, then they will be shoved aside. That is the fate which I will fight until my last breath. Question about okay, immigration. Please, uh, next, yeah, uh, your immigration plan is Excuse full me, of sit down. Sit down. Sit down. No, I'm a, I'm a reporter down. as an immigrant and as a U.S. citizen. I have the right to ask the question. No, you, know, you haven't been called. No, I have the, I have the right to ask the question. Go back and, to the No.
This is the question. Go ahead. You cannot deport 11 million. You cannot deport 11 million people. You cannot build a 1,900-mile wall. You cannot deny citizenship to children in this country. Down, and with those ideas, I'm a, no, 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 I'm a reporter and I have... I, don't touch me, sir. Please don't touch me, sir. Please you cannot touch me. I have the right to ask a question. Yes, in, in order. In I, have, I have the right to ask a question. Yes, in order, in I have the right where, to ask a question. Let me see it. It's over there. So they're coming out, stay out. You, you just got to wait your time. You're very rude. It's not about you. It's not about... Get out of my country. Get out. This it's is not about you. I'm a U.S. citizen, too. Well, whatever. No, Univision, no. It's not about you. you know, it's not about you. It's about, it's about the United States. Hate is contagious. That expression of hate is something that I had never experienced before. It's something that I reported about but never, never experienced it uh, myself.